One thing that you might not have noticed is we ran into a potential issue anytime that we started working with classes where our class was defined outside of our main file. You might say, well, what is that problem? I really don't see it. Well, it has to do with the fact that inside of our main CPP file here, we have a circle.h include. That just lets us know that we're including the header for our circle class, and we're going to know how we can use this class. Well, I also happen to have inside my circle.cpp file include circle.h. Notice it's exactly the same. Believe it or not, this causes an issue. The issue is when should the compiler continue to look for a header file? And is this the same header file? Is it different? How do I redefine things, etc.? Becomes very confusing at a low level. You wouldn't think so because you and I instinctively and intuitively know that this is the same file and it shouldn't be imported a second time. We already know about it. But especially with older computers, when C and C++ were just coming out, they didn't have a lot of resources. And so the easy solution was made up. There's actually two different ways we're going to look at how to solve this problem. The first method is not technically part of standard. However, it is accepted by most development environments. And that actually uses Pragma Once compiler directive. Now this compiler directive says, I've seen this file, put me in this little, little list of files or array of files you could think. And anytime you go to run it, check to see if I'm already there. If I am, you can skip me. And that's what Pragma Once is trying to tell the compiler. This other method is actually part of our C++ specification. And it's going to actually be three steps. All of them are also compiler directives. Up at the top, we're going to say, if not defined. Or specifically, it's actually if in def. If not defined. And then we give it a value. In this case, circle underscore h. Now, we're not defining an actual value. We're just saying, hey, this exists. Now, if it doesn't exist, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to define circle.h value. This way, the next time we run into the file, it's going to say if in def, go, oh, I've already defined this. I don't have to. I'm going to skip it. But how far do I skip? Because I can actually skip just little sections or big sections depending upon what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to come down here at the end of my circle.h file, and I'm going to put a end if. This end if is a compiler directive that lets us know that we're at the end of our if in def command. So this is a little bit more complicated, which is why the pragma once is being used by a lot of modern compilers, a lot of modern IDEs but this works everywhere. So I recommend Pragma once, and if that doesn't work, then use the if in def method. 